Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to teach you how to download games from Apple Arcade right here on your Mac. So let's just get started. So what we have to do is go into your App Store. If you guys don't see it down here, your App Store, don't worry about it. All you guys have to do is go into your Spotlight search and you guys can search up for your App Store. Or even easier, just go into your Apple logo. Top left hand side of your screen, you guys will see the Apple logo and just go into a third option where it says App Store. So let's launch that up. And our second option right here on the side, top left hand side, we will see Arcade. So that's our second option, just click right there. If you guys are not signed up for it, have not subscribed, then you will see a button saying subscribe right here. If you're already subscribed, then you will see the screen where it tells you all this stuff. So it's gonna give you a brief of all the games, if you guys want adventure games, all those categories, or we can just go right into see all games. So from see all games, we can download everything that we want. So I'm gonna quickly scroll through all of them so you guys can see all the ones that are available right now for your Mac. And then I'm gonna start off with the most popular ones and then keep working my way back in downloading them, okay? So we're gonna download each one right here on Mac. So one of the most popular ones is Hot Lava. So that's why we're gonna start with download on that one. And then we're gonna move on onto the other games. So right now I see Hot Lava, it's right here. So here's Hot Lava, and we're gonna download it first. So let's just press on Get. If you guys want to take a quick peek of what this game's about, you can always click right here. So if I click right here, there we go. It's gonna give me a quick peek into what I would like to download, or maybe I don't wanna download it, right? But then again, it's Apple Arcade. You guys can just download it, delete it later, and we're good to go. Besides clicking on the middle, we can also click right here on the icon of Hot Lava, or any game for that matter. So let's just click right there, and it should bring us onto this right here. Okay, this screen. So we're gonna do that for each one of them. So let's just go back. So as you guys could see, I can just download, 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 or if I want to, I can always click right here, go right into it, and then just press get and it's gonna start downloading. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna take a look at this guy, download it. Like I mentioned, the download time for each one really depends on your internet speed, okay? So although, yes, you may have limited storage and your Mac's running slow, or maybe you guys have a ton of storage and your Mac's running really fast, even then, if your storage is good and your Wi-Fi is not great, your internet speed isn't the greatest out there, then this might take a long, long time to download each one of these. So I actually don't suggest downloading every single one of them like I am. <laughs> you guys should try one at a time or look up reviews like you will see my channel to get a quick glimpse of what each one is. Although this playback of you guys can see a pretty good playback of what the game's about. They're not bad, they're not bad. I don't like the playbacks when they're just videos, just showing you not really previews of the gameplay itself, but just the story or something like that, because that doesn't really give you an idea of what type of graphics or what type of game it is. But once you look at gameplay, then you can see exactly how the game's played and all that. So uh, I am liking the previews that Apple's giving you right now for each one of these guys. And is each one of these worth it downloading? Well, um, no. <laughs> Some are cool. I like this game, by the way. Um, it's a funny name. <laughs> Very funny name. Um, the game itself is okay-ish. But uh, I know some people love it. Some people hate it. This one, this one's kind of funny, too. It's not the greatest game, either. I would say it's more fun on your iPhone or iPad. I wouldn't actually suggest it on Mac just because it doesn't seem like you need a Mac for that type of game. It just seems more for iPhone or iPad, just mobile. This one I have not tried just yet, so we'll see. I'm gonna have to see what this is about. It looks interesting. Hmm. Next up we have Card of Darkness. Again, I have not played this one. I haven't even seen this one yet. That's interesting. And we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. We're almost there. Here's uh, 
I haven't done this one either. Okay, so there's a few games that I have not tried just yet. So I want to review these games for you dudes. I'll let you know how they are. Cause this video does not look great. <laughs> so I'm not too excited about that one, but maybe the game's not bad. Maybe it's just the video that's not great. Now this one, yes, this one, I think everybody by now has played this game. Um, the graphics are interesting. I like the style that they made the game and all that. Now this one, this one's out there. This one's very, very popular. But I gotta say, for me, it's not the greatest game. It's not my type of game. But it's very, very popular. A ton of people like it. Okay, so if they're ready to play, you guys will see play. So for example, this one already downloaded, so I can see the play button right here. It's no longer just gonna give you this circle where you guys can pause the game. So maybe if your internet's a little bit too slow and you wanna see what's going on, you can always pause it. Now we can see Hot Lava's almost done. But anyways, I think that one's one of the best ones when you're looking at graphically. Um, the game itself is pretty good too, but the graphics, I love the graphics in Hot Lava. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys are ready to play, again, we can just hit play. So I'm going to do that for you guys so you guys can see what this is about and how it plays out right here on your Mac. So the first thing it's going to ask you, yeah, your graphics. So I would choose fastest just to be better. You guys can go good, beautiful, fantastic. Depends where you guys want to go with this. If you want a really smooth game, go fastest. If you want to look at all the details and everything, then go into fantastic. I'm just gonna go fastest for now. But you guys can hit the middle ground as well. But just for this video, <laughs> we're gonna go fastest so you guys can see what's up with that. And we're gonna hit play. So it's gonna take over my screen. Next up, we might get this. Not everybody's gonna get this message actually. Welcome to Game Center. It depends if you guys have logged in before. I'm gonna go continue. I'm gonna click on start. And that's how any game will play out. As you guys can see, the graphics are great. I'm gonna just put start game. Story mode, why not? New game. And that's it for this game, guys. I just wanted to show you how this game plays out. Um, it does really depend what you guys want to do, what game you guys want to play. This one's mostly click, click, click. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys want to get out of any game, you guys can always do the quick way, which is Command Q. So right now I'm exactly gonna do that. I'm just gonna press Command Q to close this up. And there we go. That's just a quick way. You don't have to exit that way, by the way. But it's just a quick way, Command Q. It's just quitting the game. I'm kind of forced quitting it, but I like to just get out of things really fast. So I just want to close them. Anyways, that would be it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.